Hang on. Yes. Howdy, Rachel Hawk fans. Welcome to Skyrim! Death has been on my case about starting the game up. So, here I am, exploring the game for the first time. Death, you need to actually talk. Remember, I removed you. Hi! I have gone with this awesome orc. Because you all know me by now, I love my orc. I love being an orc. Orcs are cool. But, this is the first time I've seen Skyrim. As some of you know from my streams, I have done Elder Scrolls Online for a few levels, and then kind of lost track of who all could join me in the game, so I stopped playing it. <laughs> so, now, Death has been bothering me and bothering me and bothering me and bothering me about playing Skyrim. So, he's going to be walking me through some of the steps that I need to be following, as well as being my compass as far as where I'm supposed to be going. I told you before, you can just wander around. I just told you what not to do. Because Das likes the shiny things. Dude, this guy looks amazing. It's got stars and moving clouds. Ooh, flowers to harvest. Alright, so, I'm getting a lot of flowers along the way. Hi! You look like somebody who's gonna fight me. Okay. Ooh! Okay, that was a lot more graphic that time than the first time I killed him. <laughs> I wanna say, this might be some rated R stuff here, so be warned! Avert your eyes now! <laughs> okay. Because you will see head rolling. Really? Yeah, you can chop people's heads off. Okay. <laughs> All right. So why am I in here again? Oh yeah, that's right. I need iron. Oh yeah, iron. You get iron ore. You need to go to the. Can I push that cart down? Kind of. Yeah, he did. He kind of flopped. Whoa! Ow! Rocks on head. Activate torch sconce? Torch added! Torch off. How do I use torch? Oh, you're gonna be using your 100 weapon if you have it out. Oh, okay. I have torch. It's in your miscellaneous pocket. Okay. Oh, so if I'm holding the torch, I can only use my one-handed. One-handed weapon. Yes. Yeah, also, you can use the torch light to go on fire. I told you, we have someone standing guard out there. Don't forget the wrong trap. Wrong button. Wrong button. Do you guys seriously not see the orc standing right here? Alright, you're down. You're down. Such bandit. Ooh, ale. Thank you. Yes. And there's also seen as being drunk in Skyrim. Ooh, he has an iron shield. Yoink. Alright, so that'll replace the one-handed weapon that I have already, and that'll replace the wooden shield that I have. Yes, even though I'm going for a two-weapon, two-handed weapon build with this, if what I understand is correct, um, I carry spares with me, just to be safe. Ooh, you have food? Ah, uh, it's empty. You have food? Oh, uh, that's empty. Alrighty. There's stuff over there in the water. Alright. I thought you said there was a pickaxe for me to find. It's on the floor. Ooh, 
Ooh, wine. All the mines that you find should have some sort of pickaxe scattered everywhere almost. Take tankard. We drink and drink and drink and drink and drink and drink and fight. Activate. Too bad you don't really use it. Activate lever. Ooh, Ooh shiny. Someone there? Nope, no one's here. No one's here, but I just chickens. Pukak! Thought I heard something. Yes, you did hear something. You're a dead. <laughs> my power attack. Okay. Yeah, if you hold down your attack button. Hehehe, <laughs> your little hide shield did absolutely nothing. Ooh, he was carrying a pickaxe. Thank you. That's all my- you just look for an iron, iron or vein, and you can mine it. Okay, well it actually- Also, the chop wood. You need- go to back- if you want to chop wood, go back to river wood, go towards the sawmill, and head towards the back. Somewhere back there, there's a table with a um, axe on it. Pick that up. Okay. Will shine? Will will iron ore be like lit up? No, but you can tell the difference between it and normal rocks. Put it that way. Okie dokie. Know where the two bandits were talking first when you first enter? Yeah. There's an iron iron ore vein next to them, on next to their fire pit. Uh, I believe it's next to the logs. I need to go. Oh, actually, I think I still need to clear it up. Don't you know? Oops. Oh. So pretty much that's what all the veins are look like. Pretty much. So how do how long? Oh, it I continually tap at it until it says depleted. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Yay for learning things! I'm gonna be the best orc there ever orc was. I'm not orc 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 orc. See, in World of Warcraft, everything was, like, lit up. Like, it was obvious that it was ore. I like this style, though. It's somewhat obvious in uh, Skyrim 2. It's just that sometimes you have to look a little bit harder. What was that? Oop, oh, wrong button. Come on. Come on out. Alright. Oh! Well then! What the heck was that? Uh, apparently I leveled up! <laughs> Shiny, you guys had lots of good stuff over here. Sack of flour? Sack. Green apples? Another sack of flour? Carrots! Barrel of wheat? I have no. What's that? You know how to access the favorite menu? Nope. All right, go into your inventory. Go look up your. Hang on, uh, hang on, hang on. Okay. The heck? A staff of zombies? It's a staff with a spell on it that you can use all so long until it's disenchanted. Take spell tome, spell tome of clairvoyance. That's another 
spell that leads you towards your current selected quest. Tomatoes! Tomatoes, as they're somewhat pronounced somewhat. Ooh. Iron Gretzot? Iron Hammer! I am using Iron Hammer. Oh, items. Alright, what were you saying about items? Go ahead into your inventory and look for, let's say, your main primary, primary weapon. Uh huh. Um, do you see where it, says, where it says a favorite button? Yes. In the bottom left, click on that and yep. it should pop up. While in the game, press up to open up your favorites menu, which allows you to quickly use or equip items you have marked as your favorites. Cool. Okay. Iron, iron. Alright. Alright, so I want to continue going down. Dragon's Probably tongue? Legend. Check on your uh, carry weight. Carry weight is at 188 out of 300. Da sees food. Food is good. I think. Yeah, it's fine. What is this key? Da sees a gate. Nope. Okay. Digging a hole, diggy diggy hole. <laughs> wow, big place. What was that? It was nothing. I see you over there. Come on, come on, come on. Can't wait to count out your coin. There we go. Whoa! Somebody likes using a bow and arrow. Not quite good enough, are you? You were saying? Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Oh, you son of a gun. Yeah, way to go, stupid. There you go. There you are. And... <laughs> he has his arrow sticking out of his shoulder. <laughs> You seriously just gonna stand there and take that? Thank you. Oh, that system's gonna be confusing. Steel War Axe is one handed again. So, for those of you who are watching this gameplay right now, as you can see, I sort of know what I'm doing. However, if you have any tips, let me know. Use... You need the wood chopper's... Woodcutter's axe in order to use this. Alrighty then. Ooh, iron ore. Thank you. That would be the axe I'm talking about. Read. Light... Armor forging. Smithing increased to level 21. Yay! Oh, so here's the workbench. 
Here's a grindstone. Wow, you guys had everything down here. Thank you. Alright, so what does grindstone do? Use grindstone to improve weapons. What does... Oh! Schnazzy! Okay. Alright. Let's see. Dead body over here. Alright. You had fur armor. That's why you went down like a sack of bricks. So I will take your arrows. Thank you very much. Most bandits have fur armor. What's that? Most bandits have fur armor. Ah, okay. Alright. Um. Hee hee hee, the latrine. <laughs> oh, Renaissance age. Or medieval age. Whichever the case may be. This is a beautiful little game. I love the fact that I can run this on Ultra. Wow! <laughs> they have a stores room in here. Sweet. Shiny things! Doss likes shiny things. Take everything. Take it all. Take it. Take it. Take it. I can't. Carry weight. Oh, right. Ruby? I'm taking a little bit of everything, though, just so I can explore stuff. Green apples. Potatoes. Green apples. Sack of flour. Sack of flour. Cask. Ah. Come on! Ah! <laughs> Self serve! <laughs> Why for does ground shake? Ooh, charged ski. Charred skeever hide, huh? Why? Grilled leeks! Ooh! They were cooking food for me. Thank you! Thank you for your genera generous donation. To Das wandering around. Yeah, you may want to start looking to making either your own food when you get your own house, etc., etc., or you find an alchemy station. Why is that? Because you can create potions with ingredients you find that you eat them once. Oh, okay. I was going to say, was there a hunger bar I needed to be worrying about here? Nah. Why are there bones on ropes? Um, cans, remember? Think of the cans. Oh, okay. So, should I not be going this way? No, we cleared it all already. Just another way out. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. I don't want to go that way. There was a lower cave. How do I get to you? Oh, I just jumped. Yay, shiny thing. Ooh, iron ore vein. Nice. Iron ore added and garnet added? Yep. Do these iron ore veins eventually, like, replenish? That I honestly don't know. Ooh, shiny. Yay! Wait at 204 out of 300. So 
where does this lead me? Oh! Oops! I didn't need to jump there after all. I just missed the tunnel. Stupid. Alright, so I guess I got all the iron ore veins in here, then. Out to Skyrim! Ooh, shiny statue! It is night time! That's bad! Nah, that's not bad. Wow, they actually have crickets? And know, cicadas! Right? Oh, dude! <laughs> That's cool! See what you've been missing this whole entire time in the future? Yeah, I know. Before everybody starts raging in the comments section, I know Skyrim's been out for a while now, but still! This is cool. All right. So now what? Ooh, those mountains look looming. That looks cool too. That point of perspective. Ah. Uh. Like, even that water, it looks cold. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so you said something about me grabbing the woodsman's axe. Yeah, behind the lumber mill. Behind the lumber mill. This looks like a spot where Axe would be. Nope. There's a table around there somewhere. Ah! Woodcutter's Axe. Donka Shine. Items. Books. Read. I don't want to read that. I thought you were going to immediately teach me that. Alright. Never mind. Okay. So yes, I'm going for a two-handed weapons build. Um, going with what they described as an orc. So it's going to be a full battle orc with heavy armor and all such and like that. What not for that. What's this? Oh, this is how I gather firewood. Gotcha. Okay. Rah. Is there a faster way of can doing this? I can turn the firewood into gold, by the way. I can turn the firewood into gold? If I turn it into the lumber mill, the um, uh, lumberjack guy, or whatever. Oh, okay. Sell it, pretty much. All right. I'm assuming I have to wait until daytime for all that. Uh, the guy's asleep, probably, yes. Is this another one of those games where I can be just running non-stop, or do I eventually have to stop and sleep? Non-stop. Non-stop? Non-stop. Dude, cool. Alright, uh... Be careful. When it comes to a certain point of being bitten by a vampire and he turns to a vampire, uh, run more often during the night. Haha. Okay. How do I turn... How do I turn iron ore into ingots? You need a smelter, which there is one in... Uh, White Rock. In White Rock? Run. Oh, White Run. Okay. Yeah, open nice open right. skills menu to level up.
You must choose to increase your health, magicka, or stamina. Stamina. Thank you. Perks to increase. One. You said I should be going for smithing and heavy armor? Um, I'm going to let you pick what you want to do for the perks. Increases armor rating for heavy armor by 20%. Juggernaut! Unarmed attacks with heavy armor gauntlets do their armor rating and extra damage? Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. I like it. Alright. Alright, so where do I go for this white run? All main road. Oh, hey dummy, there's a map. Alright, so I'm here in Riverwood. Oh, white run is straight ahead. Okay. That way! For great glory! And all that. Ooh! Fish hanging out hanging out to dry. Free food! Nah. I got food. That's cool. Dude, there's a moon! That's cool. Whoa, what was that? Pretty awesome, right? Dude, you know how in love I am with games that go in depth. You know that. <laughs> uh. Oh! Signpost! Windhelm? White Run! That way! But which way? There's a fork! You're not helping me! I guess it's that way. Oh, point to the sign! It's hard to see which way they're angled at! The sign? Yes. Really? I think I'm going the right way. I don't know, I'm climbing up the mountain. No, you're not supposed to climb up the mountain. Yes, yeah, so it looks like I'm climbing up the mountain toward Bleak Fall Sparrow. <laughs> yeah. And I just saw a head pop out from behind a rock. Alright, I'm going down. <laughs> do 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 do. Is this one of those games where if I stick to the roads, I'm safe? Uh, no. Yay! So follow the creek then. Got it. Again? Follow the creek then. Got it. <laughs> Ooh. Waterfall. Pretty. Dude. Whoa. Hi. Yeah, that's what you get for trying to attack me. Are there more of you? There's never just one wolf. There's always a pack. So if I get bitten by a vampire, that's an actual thing? Dude! Say again? Cool. That's an actual thing to get be bitten by a vampire? Yeah, you can track it. You can remove it by going to one of the altars, uh, one of the nine divines, and it'll remove it. Ah, okay. Hey, guys walking along with torches. You guys look friendly. Hi.
You are Imperial Guardsmen. Where are you going? Why are you going across the creek? You guys have no idea where you're going, do you? Oh! Oh, I just got the quest to join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Okay, I backed up, I backed up, I backed up. You guys go on your merry way. I'm not here to fight you guys. I'm here to go to Whiterun. White run! That way! Yeah, you guys walk over there and I'll walk on this side. How's that sound? Haunting Brew Meadery. Dude! <laughs> this is why Das loves medieval times. Forts and keeps everywhere! Ooh, shiny you know, flower. Some of them are held by bandits. Shiny flower that had an arrow. F Nin root? Why are there arrows flying from over here? Hello? Uh, you'll find out. You'll see. Hello? Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Well, what's up? Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. Okay. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. For honor! Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vaskar. Whitemane? That man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him... Okie okay, dokie. Good luck. Speak with the leader of the Companions. You look strong. Come to your Vaskar and you be a companion. You want to turn to a werewolf in that quest line. Sorry, what was that? You get turned into a uh, werewolf on that quest line. I get turned into a werewolf? Yep. Uh... Do I have to be a giant furry? No, it's your choice to be turned into one or not. I'm oh. not sure as I, because I'm not done the quest fully. Ah, okay. Yay, right, white run stables found. Excellent. All this talk of dragons returning to the world makes me more than a little nervous. Excuse me, I would like to borrow your forge. Hello? Excuse me. Oh, they have the gate open for me. Yay! Well, maybe not. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Uh. <laughs> uh. Well, well, well. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. Okay, you said you scared not to talk to the Jarl. Yes. Okay. But I needed to come here in order to use the forge. Smeltery. Smeltery, okay. Oh look! Alchemy lab! <laughs> Uh White Run discovered. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. 
I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Wait. Have it your way. I'll take Greymane was the name of the werewolf side in World of Warcraft. He's the name of one of the main leaders. Correct me if I'm wrong, comments, but that's the truth. <laughs> Oh, great! All this is coming full circle. Awesome. Alright. So... Where am I going? What are you looking for again? The smelting place. The blacksmith's right at the entrance. Yeah, I know. I'm here now, but she closed the door on me. It's outside. Blacksmith Forge! No. Grinding stone. Do you no. see the thing off uh, away from the blacksmith area somewhat? It's like a big oh, uh, I see black it. thing. Yeah. Like Use smelter. Yay! Thos is learning things. Ooh, dwarven metal. Nice. Wow. I have a lot oh, of iron ore. Whimmer, I believe, What's that? I believe it's called more along the lines of Dwarven? Eh, whatever. Dwarven! Oh, okay, that's what you meant. Okay. Now that we have all that, Doss needs better stuff. Iron! Alright. Oh, I need a corundum ingot for that. Okay. Alright, I have iron armor on already. I need iron boots. Iron gauntlets. And iron helmet. Yes! Awesome. Alright, now I equip said things. Item. Apparel. Whatever a gold necklace does. Hide bracers of minor smithing? Weapons and armor can be improved 12% better. Oh, should I have been wearing those the entire time I was making stuff? Crud. What? Um, apparently I had an item in my inventory called the Hide Bracers of Minor Smithing. Wear them to, if you want, you can actually disenchant them and put them on other gear. Ooh, cool. Oh, cool! They even have a little green mist coming off of them. Sweet! Okay, so my armor rating is now 80. Awesome. Uh, we shall stand here in the moonlight. Yay! I actually look like an orc now. <laughs> Sweet. This is cool. I like this game. Anywho, I'm going to leave this video off here. We're learning some things. This is awesome. I'm going to save it in case it decides to uh, crash out on me. New save. Thank you. So, thank you for joining me. If you have any suggestions, if you have any tips for me, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I have death leading me on as far as which direction I need to go. If you like this video, again, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button. That way it gives me a heads up as far as what games you all like to see me play. And as you can guess by now, I am totally amazed by these modern games, all the graphics, being able to see clouds for them actually being clouds. <laughs> and not little blocky shapes moving through the sky. But anyway, thank you for joining me today. As always, my name is Das Broom. I was joined by Death Dragon. Hello. Thank you for joining us today here on our virtual couch of gaming here in our virtual city of gaming with friends Woo! and family when Rose comes to visit. Anywho,
Bye, y'all. Say bye, demon. Yeah, death. Demon? <laughs> bye. bye.